Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome back to another Brad Teaches video. This time we are looking at lab 6.4, which is all about looping inside of dictionaries. And what we want to do is find the five most common words using a histogram or a, a dictionary that we use as a histogram. And you can see the first two things that we are told to do, or at least we're given a strategy to do this by our uh, lab is to start these two functions. One is text to word list. And you can see there it takes an example paragraph as an input. And then it does pretty much everything we do in le lesson 6.2. And in lesson 6.2, we took and we cleaned up that paragraph. We assigned it to individual items in a list. And then you can see on line 16, my count frequencies. And you know what? Matter of fact, we need to make this text just a little bit bigger for you. And to do that, in case you, it's something maybe you haven't seen, uh, you just go to the editor, you go to font, and I'm going to change my text size 14 and I'm going ahead and apply that. And you can see it's a little bit bigger now, but regardless on line 16, I count frequencies. I take in the word list I create right here and I say histogram is equal to a dictionary. And then I loop through and I give each one of those histogram keys a value. And we're going to use that later on because our next thing that we have is something called run find max value. So this is our new function that we want to use to actually find the max value of each key, or I should just say of the key that has the max value inside of our dictionary. And to do that, I think what I want to do is I want to start off and um, I'm going to first define a uh, sort of a placeholder value for our max key and our max value. And here I know my max value is going to be a integer and I know that my max key is going to be a string. So that's what I instantiate them to. And looping through dictionaries is actually very similar to looping through pretty much anything else. So I'm gonna say here for dict item and example histogram. I just wanna make sure I spell that right. And the example histogram is gonna be the variable that we take in right there. So I say for dict item in example histogram, I want to simply say if the example histogram particular dict item, right, which is just whatever part that we're on, is greater than max value. So here, of course, I'm saying, hey, if the current uh, dictionary item has a greater value than my max value that I already have stored, I want to do something. And what I want to do is I want to take the dict item that I'm looking at and I'm going to assign that value to my max key. So here as it goes through, um, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up and show you. I don't think I have my paragraph stored quite yet, but let's say that the word uh, A, just the letter A used as a word, is the highest amount, and it's used five times where anything else is used only four. It's going to see that. It's going to see that the dictionary histogram item has a higher value at five than anything else because the next highest value might be four. And then it's going to simply store that max key and I'm just gonna return it to the user. So here, another thing I also wanna do just for the sake of troubleshooting later potentially is pretty much what I already did and just say, I just want to store my max value for later, just in case if I need it, you never know. And after I do that, I am going to exit the loop and I'm going to return my max key right there. Um, and that's pretty much it for that definition, right? We loop through that dictionary using this very convenient keyword and our for loop. And we're just going to say for dict item and example histogram, which I'm passing in up here. And it really is that simple. Now, the last thing that we need to do is we need to actually use all these in tandem. And one of the strategies that the lab provides us with is to basically a loop through and complete this same max value key five times. And each five times we're going to do that, we're going to remove an item from the dictionary. And I'll show you how to do that. So the example paragraph that I'm going to take is going to be the same one we used in lab 6.2. And you can see it's a super long string. Uh, doesn't exactly matter, but the first thing I want to do is call text to word list. I'm going to say example word list is equal to um, our function up here, text to word list, with my example par plugged in. 
And then once I go down, I also want to create the dictionary. So I'm gonna say example dict is equal to count frequencies. And I'm gonna give it that example word list, right? So we're just going through the same steps of lab 6.2. If you're kind of unfamiliar with what I'm going through right here, just giving a uh, histogram function, a word list, and it's creating this kind of nice hierarchy. And we can see that actually right here because I'm pretty sure I can just print this example dictionary for you. We can kind of get an idea of the, oh, and definitely don't wanna do that. We can get an idea of the data that we're working with. So you can see here in this paragraph, A is gonna be our highest word. We can just see that off the bat. We have two as four, grande is four, just some really, you know, some of them are common, some of them are based off the subject, but we have that histogram built. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. The next thing that I wanna do is actually find the first highest key, right? So I'm gonna say the highest key is equal to, let's say, uh, find max value key, and I plant in that example dictionary. So here, if I just wanna print out that highest key, right, just print out that very first one. If I right click and click run, you can see A is printed out because that is our highest key. And of course, I could print max value here if I want to, which you know what I kind of do. And we're gonna say, what is our max value? If we run, you can see six and A are printed. That's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and comment that out as well. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna get the next four highest. Now, the way that the lab has uh, kind of suggested that we do this is the way that I'm going to, and it wants us to basically uh, give us, it wants to remove the highest item that we've just found from the dictionary and then add all the other ones to a list. And so that's what I'm going to start with, which is highest key, keys list. And it's gonna be a list that starts with highest key. That's what we're gonna instantiate it to. And then we're gonna use a very simple pop function to get the, I'm gonna find my example dictionary right there. We're gonna say dot pop, and we're gonna give it a key. A key specifically is what we need to tell it to pop something out. And pop is just going to remove it. Uh, if I wanted to, I could see what that value was that I popped out by giving uh, assigning a value to the function that I'm running. But in this case, I don't want to. So. There, after that happens, that key no longer exists and its value is wiped out from the dictionary. And now I can say for i in range four. So I wanna run something four times. I'm gonna run this loop. I am going to say highest key is equal to, and matter of fact, I can just pretty much rip what I have right here. And then I'm also going to say highest keys list dot append, which simply adds something to the list, and it'll add highest key. And then finally, I want to do, I wanna return that to where it goes. I also want to pop that key out. Now finally, after I go through there, I continue doing this, I find the highest key once again, I append that to my list, and then I pop that key out of the histogram. Um, the last thing I want to do is just simply print my list and I believe with this we should be complete. So here, if I click run, you can see it's giving the five top uh, words in order. So the very first word is A that was used like five or six times I believe in Ariana, then Grande, then two and was. And the way that that works is because I'm finding the, the top item in my histogram list or my dictionary and then I'm popping it out so that no longer exists. Um, there are a few more ways to do this and I would encourage you if you're a student, if you're a teacher, to potentially find you know some other creative ways of doing it because this is definitely not uh, the only way and it could be arguable if it's even the best way to do it, right? Um, but that is pretty much all there is for this lab. Thank you all very much for tuning in.